Welcome back everybody to Writing Done Right. Well today we're going to talk about where do you put your barcode on your book. So stay tuned. Well, thanks for coming back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I have uploaded almost uh, about a year or well, a little over a year, maybe a year and a half since by my account. And uh, why is that? Well, I actually write that the last time I did the last video, I bought a van and I customized it. And then I went around and I drove around like 30 different states and I enjoyed it. And it was a lot of fun. And I visited some writing conferences and things like that. And uh, right now I'm weaving this channel back into my daily workflow so that we can get some videos. I'm going to shoot for one video a week on this channel. And I have my next five videos planned out here. And then um, these are all based on the types of videos that people have, have liked and have asked questions about based on the comments. I actually have been reading the comments even though I'm not necessarily replying a whole lot. So. Let's go ahead and get into our topic today, which is where do you put your barcode on your book? So I have, of course, my latest science fiction novel, uh, which is called Synaptergy. I'll have a link for that down in the uh, description down there. And I have the barcode down here. Now, I, I have the free barcode video. That's one of the most viewed videos on the channel is how to get a free barcode. You can go ahead and have a look at that video. I'll go ahead and link that down here in the description. And when you have your free barcode, you want to make sure that you put this somewhere in a good logical spot. I know a whole video on this. Well, we'll be pretty short because you do want to make sure that your barcode is somewhere where people can find it. But there are going to be times you have a book that it doesn't make sense to put the barcode in the usual place. So let's talk first about the usual place. And you can see on this book, the barcode is down here. If you're looking at the book, it is on the lower right corner. If you submit a book to like uh, Amazon's uh, KDP program and you just hand them the, the book cover and they you don't give them a barcode or anything like that, they'll tell you, hey, leave this spot blank for the barcode. Amazon will affix a barcode to your book. Now, it's not going to be a price barcode. Uh, this one here that I get from Ingram Spark that I described in that video, this is the type of barcode that a bookstore needs to sell your book. If you're letting Amazon put the barcode on, it's going to have a barcode, but it's not going to have the price affixed to it. And what that's going to do is it's going to prevent the primary bookstores, many of them, from selling your book. And sure, some of them have ways around that. Uh, but just be aware of it. Now, they will insert the barcode there by default. So make sure you're leaving a spot for it or a blank spot on your book cover for it. Now, that being said, you can put it anywhere. If you want the barcode anywhere but that spot, you can put it anywhere on the back cover, but you have to get the barcode and you have to affix it yourself. You can't tell them this is where I want the barcode if they are automatically attaching it. Okay, so by in general, this is where you want the barcode. The reason is this is where everybody expects and a bookstore, if they're selling your book, this is where they want it to be. They may have automated systems that do stuff with this. They may have automated platforms to feed books through that you don't want them to have to fight around with it. So unless there's a very good reason, put your barcode here. Now, there's the second factor we want to have in the little hidden component. What else do you want to have around your barcode? Well, technically, your barcode does list the price. There's a five-digit code next to the barcode. So this is technically your barcode. This little one over here is actually where the pricing information is. And on most books in the United States, there is a digit five, which tells you U.S., and then the digits following it will be the price of the book. So your good savvy book uh, purchaser can tell what the price is of a properly affixed barcode based on this number. But it's always good to give them more information. And that's why on all of my books, I like putting the retail price somewhere in the side. So I have the retail price over here on the side. You might put it up at the top. The other thing I like to do is in smaller font, right, usually right above the barcode, I like listing the places where the book should be sorted. So this particular book here, Synaptergy, is listed under science fiction 
and dystopia. So those two items are listed on the barcode, uh, like right above the barcode, I should say. So somebody can pick up the book. They know approximately where the barcode is. They can pick it up. They can look at the back. They can see the price. They can see at least what the author believes the is going to be the best, uh, the best um, uh, way to sort the book. So that is information about where to put the barcode on the book. And again, the previous video I talked about talks about how to get a barcode. Now, the, that's not how to get an ISBN. Uh, several companies now in the publishing world are providing free ISBNs to run exclusively on their platform. Uh, you can do that, but if you have a, if you have, for example, a Amazon giving you your ISBN number, then you have to run this basically exclusively through Amazon or running it through their expanded distribution, which will greatly reduce your royalties. Um, Ingram Spark, to my understanding, now also has a way to get the ISBNs. Of course, uh, you're going exclusive over there. Um, you do want to, if you're going to be publishing more than just one off book, you should probably invest. If you're not going to use a publisher, if your plan is to do all self publishing, you should buy a block of IPs. If you just want to write and leave the publishing to other people, go ahead and. Um, you can go ahead and do that. I publish science fiction and I publish Christian. So if you are interested in uh, talking to me about my publishing services, you can go ahead and leave a comment there and I'll get back to you about that or send me an email on the, um, uh, on the website. But um, otherwise, if you want a free ISBN, um, you're going to be forced into exclusive areas and things like that. So just be aware of those. So hopefully this helped you figure out where to put your ISBN. Again, you can put it anywhere else, but most people are going to prefer, unless there's a very good reason, put it in the lower right-hand corner of your back cover. With that, thanks for watching, everybody, and we will see you next time on Writing Done Right.